Hey YouTube, what's up, Anthony Lasers here, coming at you with another video today. Um, I wanted to talk about a little bit about what DN Meta is. DN Meta is almost like real life meta, only it's like everyone has access to like every card. Like if you get on here and you go and build a meta deck, you can build the most expensive fucking deck and you don't have to pay for anything. And you just sit there and you just sit there and your opponent's just crying because you can't do anything about what you're doing. So I'm going to go into a little bit about what the different decks are. Well, first we have water decks, mermails, water variants. Basically, this card is your key card, it's your boss card. He's really hard to get. His price is even expensive, too. He's $119 on TCG Player. Um, you know, he's an expensive card. He's pretty much a beast to get around. He's a level 7, so anything that's rank 7 can go with him. Uh, we also have High Priestess of Prophecy. She's also a level, a level 7, which is harder to get. She's a little bit more expensive, around the same price. Um, pre, uh, spell books, they're really powerful on this, this site, because you have every card. You have Judgment of the Light. Like, you have Judgment and everything. So, High Priestess is one of those cards that is just going to come out and be majorly like that. So, we also have Fire Fist, like any fire deck... Uh, basically anything that revolves around beast warriors, any deck that needs like increase of attacks. So these cards are just going to increase. They start at sixteen. They usually end up being nineteen, two thousand, two thousand, twenty-one, twenty-two, anything like that. And then you could use the card trap card overworked, destroys all of them, and then your opponent just cries because you stacked them. And we also have. Elemental Dragon of Kaldros here. We also have the E-Dragon cards here on DN now. Uh, this, de <laughs> this deck has gotten me so many wins, it's not even funny, because you just basically ditch this card with another card, and your opponent cries, and you can they can't do anything about it. So, even if you, like, played anything, you go Macro Cosmos, that's okay, because you have Dust Tornado to blast it, or whatever mystical space typhoon to blast it anything that you can do to get rid of it then you got blaster to pop whatever big ass monster they got and dude that's what you have like this right here mermel priestess and fire fist these two cards are the main meta decks right now in real life high priestess e-dragon we have dragoonies here on dn that is a dn meta we have psychics that are dn meta we have Six Samurais, they're DN meta, and Dark Worlds are DN meta. These are the top tier decks right now on DN. One, two, these top five. These are all tier one. These are tier point five. Like, these are tier zero. These are these are the best the best decks that you can possibly build. If you build it, built it right, these are the top decks. And this deck right here is the one that's going to kick them all in the pants whenever there's that comes out in Lord of the Tanking on Galaxy. So... What's going to happen? Is DN going to go compatible with Dev Pro? Because Dev Pro just uses Blaster. Dev Pro uses these Elemental Dragons and just busts out Rank 7s. All these big cards that are coming out, this card's probably going to be the same price as High Priestess because it looks like it could be a Seeker Rare. No idea. But all these cards here, these are DN meta cards. You see Dragoonies, you see Psychics, you see Six Samurais, you see Dark Worlds. These are all DN meta. They may not be good cards, they may not be good decks, but that's DN meta, and that's what everyone's using. So this is Infinite Lasers with the DN meta, signing out.